Hey, what's up? Uh, raining outside here in Tennessee and falls in the air. Weather's not too good. Can't do much outside, so thought I'd make a short little video. Uh, I just happened to get on YouTube and noticed that uh, I've got over 200 subscribers on my YouTube channel, which is not very many compared to a lot of the channels on YouTube, but I would have never thought mine would have reached that many subscribers because most of my videos are just me trying to share a little tip with you maybe, or some of them are just me talking, rambling on and on about nothing. But uh, I want to thank all of you that have subscribed to my channel and watched my videos. I appreciate it. Um, most of my videos are either about guitars or cars because um, I own a body shop and that's what I do during the day. Sometimes I put videos of projects we're working on but mainly what got me into the YouTube thing was uh, guitars. I, I love guitars and uh, I own quite a few of them and uh, I got into wanting to do a relic if you will guitar because I kind of like the look of them. And uh, that's one reason I wanted to make this video. Uh, anytime you talk about relic guitar or aged, what, whatever term you want to use, I think Fender's the one that came up with relic. But anyway, anytime you start talking about that, especially if they've been artificially aged, some people just get bent way out of shape about it. And you know that's cool I mean everybody's got their own opinion but uh, you know I, I do this because I like the way they look and you know I'm not gonna go spend four grand on a Fender custom shop relic when I can I'm not gonna say I can do as good a work as they can but I can make one look as beat up you know so but my point being, I just wanted to show a couple of things, and uh, not all my guitars are relic, you know, uh, or aged or beat up or whatever you want to call them. Um, this guitar is probably the one that I had the most uh, videos on, and I went into a lot of detail about the way that I did it and some of the techniques that I used. It's a uh, PV USA reactor. It's a really good guitar, and of course I went into all the pickup changes and all that stuff. And you know, for the money that I've got in it, it plays great. And you know, for my taste, I think it looks good. Um, I've done so many videos on this guitar, I'm not going to just go on and on about it. But uh, I just wanted to uh, show it to you because most of the comments that I get on that those videos of that guitar or you know people hey it looks good and good job and and that's fine you know I, I'm not looking for praise you know I hope it helps other people out but every once in a while I'll have somebody leave a comment on there about oh you're a poser if you uh, relic your age your own guitar relic your own guitar you need to get up on stage and play it and make it look that way naturally. Alright, number one, I'm not a musician. I play guitar as a hobby. I enjoy it. It's something I enjoy doing. I work in a body shop. That's how I make my living. You know, so I'm never going to be on stage or playing a guitar enough to wear it to where it looks like that. And I like the way it looks, so I made my own. Just for instance, this is a 1993 Stratocaster. I bought this guitar brand new in 1993. Fender USA. The only thing I changed on it, I put a Seymour Duncan hot rail in the bridge and I put the Pearl Lloyd pick guard on it. This guitar is one of my favorites. I love this guitar, but every time I get it out and play it, before I put it back in the case, I wipe it off. Now it's got some scratches, and the other pit guard had some pit guard rash on it. That's one reason I changed it, and I thought this one looked better. 
but I'll never play this guitar enough to where it's going to look like that red one. That's just not going to happen. So I thought, hey, I have tools, I have some skills, I can make my own, and I'm very proud with what I came up with. But I had a guy that, and it, I think it finally got so many uh, dislikes that it was the comment was removed. But I had a guy leave a comment on there that said that guitar was fake. This this guitar, he said it was fake. Well, no shit, it's fake. So were the Fender, Fender Custom Shop ones. I mean, you know, it's obvious. That's it's a PV. That's not something that you're naturally going to see on a PV. So, you know, I'm not trying to fool somebody or make something that's, that it's not. I just wanted it to look a certain way, and I did that. Just like with this guitar here. This is a PV USA made reactor. And I think I might have called that guitar a reactor earlier. It's a Predator. I'm not sure what I said. But this is a PV reactor. Alright, I stripped it down, I put the blue sparkle finish on it, put the black pearl pit guard, put these uh, humbucker rail type pickups, put the switch for the coil tap, put a little hula girl on the back, you know, kind of relicked it out a little bit, roughed it up a little bit. You know, I wasn't trying to go. I wasn't trying to copy anything on this. Yeah, this guitar is fake too. If you want to go that far and say that, I mean, it was just something that was up here, and I wanted a certain look. And rather than going out and paying big bucks to get it, I made it myself. You know, this is kind of to me. This is kind of my hot rodded Buck Owens. You know, <laughs> I don't know my. I don't know what you would want to call it, but either way, you know, it was something I had up here, and I did it, you know, I had made it come out the way I wanted it, and I probably got total, probably 500 bucks in this guitar, maybe six at the most, but I'll guarantee you I'm not going to walk into a music store and see another one hanging on the wall that looks like it. You know, and some of you may be saying, well, good, because it looks like a piece of crap. Well, that's your opinion. You know, to me, I think it looks great. I'm proud of it. I'm proud of the time that I spent doing it. I enjoyed doing it. And it came out the way that I wanted it to. Now, here is another guitar. I bought this. This is a Fender Stevie Ray Vaughan Signature Series Stratocaster. Got the gold hardware, left hand tremolo. I bought this guitar brand new in 1995. And I'm not sitting here going through all this to, you know, try to brag on what kind of guitars I got. Oh, look at this guy. He's showing out what kind of guitars he has. No, I'm not. I'm just saying this is another one of those guitars. When I get done playing it, I'll wipe it off and put it back in the case because I want it to stay as close to this as possible. If it gets a little scratch on it or something, I'm not going to cry, but it's never going to look like those other two guitars. So I guess the point of this video to get to the bottom line is, I don't care what you do in life or on YouTube, wherever, there's going to be people that, you know, think like you and think, hey, that's cool. I really like that, you know, and then there's going to be people that think that what you think is great, they're going to think it's crap, you know, and that's fine, man, that's cool, that's cool, that's, you know, um, just like everything else, man, if everybody liked the same thing, life would be pretty boring, I mean, you know, if everybody drove the same vehicle, if everybody um, played the same guitar, you know, whatever, but... I guess the biggest thing I'm saying is I wanted to do two things with this video. I wanted to thank the people that watch my videos for watching them. And I wanted to say not just mine, but if somebody takes the time to put something on YouTube, especially if it's something that they've gone to the trouble to make or modify or, you know, whether it be a guitar or a piece of art, 
you know, whatever. And I mean, some people might even call those guitars art. You know, like I said, there's going to be people that's going to call them art, and there's going to be people that call them crap. You know, whatever. They're mine. I spent the money on them. I spent my time and my ideas making them the way I wanted to. And some of the ideas I did get from watching other videos. See, that's the cool thing about this. Uh, if you're familiar with watching any of Pete at uh, Southwest Rod and Customs videos, he was one of the first ones that gave me the idea for the sparkle paint. So, you know, you can watch somebody's video, you take their ideas, take two or three videos you've watched and take the ideas and, and put them together and come up with your own thing. But do your own thing, man. Be your own person. Uh, if it's something you like, do it. You know, there's going to be people that leave negative comments on there. Whatever. You know, most of the time they do that, they don't have anything better to do. And if you click on their channel, they don't even have any videos on there. You know, so whatever uh, but just like the little switch I put on here to activate the neck pickup it'll do it in any position you can activate it with that little toggle switch I got that idea from watching some other videos I think it's Stuart McDonald uh, that makes a selector to where you can do the same thing but you know it's uh, I looked online and I don't remember how much the switch is but you know it's 30 or 40 bucks, something like that. I did the same thing with a $3 toggle switch. You know, I mean, use your noodle and you figure out how to do things, you know, do it your way and, and uh, you know, be happy with what you do. Uh, don't be afraid to get out there and get some tools out and work on some things and, and uh, try to come up with your own thing, man. I mean, appreciate you guys watching and as far as the relic guitar thing that's going to be a debate that goes on till the end of time you know and as far as you people that leave the negative comments calling me a poser or anybody else a poser I'm not a poser I'm not in a band I don't get up on stage I don't try to get that guitar up there and say oh look at me man I got a cool relic guitar and I did all this you know the relic guitar thing was not cool until Steve Ray Vaughan came along. And his guitar, the num no, his number one strap was beat and battered and, you know, a lot of that had to do with the way he played. And I'm no Steve Ray Vaughan, there'll never be another Steve Ray Vaughan as far as I'm concerned. So, you know, I just love guitars, man, you know. Do your own thing, do it the way you want to do it and be happy with it. See you guys later.